We can perform the same analysis for curved streamlines. We could do the analysis in Cartesian coordinates, but that would be quite tricky. Instead we will do it in intrinsic streamline coordinates, in which one defines a unit vector in the direction of the streamline and another unit vector normal to the streamline. The advantage of these coordinates is that the velocity vector is simply big V times the unit vector in the streamline direction, ES. The disadvantage is that the unit vectors change as you go along in a streamline. But in this case, the advantage outweighs the disadvantage. Now del, the upside-down triangle, has different definitions in each coordinate system, but its physical meaning is the same, and that means that the Euler equation is the same as before. All I've done here is rearrange it. I then apply the intrinsic definition of del, and note that a unit vector dotted with itself is 1, and es dot en in this case is equal to 0. And I won't go through the lines of algebra, but one then resolves separately in the ES and EN directions to find one expression for the pressure gradient along a streamline which is the same as the one we had before when examining a straight streamline and it integrates to give Bernoulli's equation and we get another expression for the pressure gradient across a streamline where R is the radius of curvature of the streamline and you can see that this expression is saying that the pressure gradient across the streamline causes a centripetal acceleration.